Hey guys, John here. So if you're looking to lift your 2022 and up third generation Toyota Tundra, there's some things to consider before lifting your truck. So a real quick overview of mine, just in case you guys are new to the channel, I'll have links to the videos down in the description, but I have a Westcott Designs 3-1 collar lift kit on my truck. For the wheels, they are 17 inch Relations race wheels. These are their RR6 hybrids. They're in a matte bronze. And then wrapped around those, I have 35 by 12 and a half Nitto Ridge Grapplers. So guys, whatever lift kit you guys put on your Tundra, whether it's a simple leveling kit, there are suspension kits that are starting to come out for this Tundra to allow you to have more wheel travel. So the main thing, you need to look out for is extending your brake lines. That's a big thing in these Tundras. Yoda Mafia has released their extended brake lines for the third generation Tundra. And this is a side-by-side -side comparison of the stock brake lines versus aftermarket brake lines. The stock brake line would be fully extended with any sort of travel or lift. So this is, I think we went with like a 14 inch for prototyping. And yeah, this stock one is maybe eight inches, nine inches. This was with the Tundra up on the lift with the rear axle fully drooped. This is before I added about an inch in the rear end with the Westcott Designs lift kit. So we put the extended brake lines on just to make sure everything was gonna work. And then when we put on the Westcott Designs kit, the brake lines had plenty of room for travel. Now the stock brake lines are about eight to nine inches and I went ahead and put 14 inch brake lines on mine just in case I put some different rear suspension in the truck in the future that will allow the rear end to articulate a bit more. Try to do extended brake lines because it, if you're gonna do any sort of off-roading or any sort of articulation at all with the rear end of the truck, it's really not gonna be safe. Those brake lines that come stock with the Tundra are very, very short. So brake lines is the first thing to consider. The next thing is your wheel choice. Tundras are able to fit 17s, but not from every single brand. So this one, like I said, is from RRW, Relations Race Wheels. They clear the front brake caliper pretty well. You just have to look out for the weights. So when a tire shop is able to put weights to balance the tires, you wanna make sure that they put the weights more inboard towards the tire if possible. That way it clears the front brake caliper. But certain manufacturers like Method, RRW, they are fitting 17 inch wheels on the Tundra if you want for a big meteor tire. The next thing to consider when you're lifting your truck too would be offset. So this is a zero offset. A lot of individuals are electing to go for a more positive offset to bring the tire closer into the wheel well so it doesn't have this much poke. When you start having this much poke going out, you do rub ever so slightly, but after I've gotten my truck aligned, I'm only rubbing barely on the passenger fender liner because on the driver's side, I was able to cut it out and I don't rub at all here on the driver's side, but I do a little bit on the passenger side just because I haven't cut that fender liner out yet, but it barely, barely rubs and that is only in full lock when in reverse. And as you can see, it hasn't even done damage to it yet. So I think it's just catching like right here a little bit. So all I have to do is just pin back this liner a little bit more, and then I shouldn't have any issues with it at all. Whatever kit you guys go with, whether it's that full suspension system that's starting to come out, get an alignment afterwards. I've had a lot of people DM me like, hey John, I did the Westcott kit. It rides like crap. What are you talking about? Did you get the truck aligned afterwards? Oh no. Get your truck aligned afterwards. Go to either your dealership if you trust them or a good alignment shop that does stuff with off-road vehicles that they know what they're doing. So guys, the biggest takeaway on this is the rear brake lines. Tires, those are subjective. Wheels, just depends on the type of wheels that you guys do. But no matter what, all these Tundras come with the same eight to nine inch, very, very short rear brake lines. Haven't had any issues up front at all with those brake lines, but the brake lines in the rear are definitely something worth considering to buy aftermarket, especially if you plan on lifting your truck and doing any sort of off-roading afterwards. So guys, that's it. Links to everything down in the description and I'll catch you in the next video. All right, see you later.